Hello, and welcome to our video describing how to co-brand the user interface of your customer endpoints and reports. MSYSOFT understands the effort it takes to build a relationship with your customers, and co-branding our endpoint security products can play an important role in maintaining that relationship. You can not only place your company logo in the software UI, you can also define your own product addition name that will show up in the UI, the taskbar, and the Windows security app. Endpoint UI co-branding changes are made from the UI customization section of the partner Policy Templates panel, and your changes will appear across all workspace policy groups to which the template has been applied. I'll be making changes to a policy template that has already been associated with my workspace, so you'll be able to see the changes I make right away. The most obvious way to co-brand your endpoints is by uploading your own logo. When you drag or click to upload your own bright and dark logos, these replace the MSYSOFT logo at the top of the application. As with all policy template settings, these changes will be pushed out from the cloud to your endpoints within seconds. Please note that this feature can't be used to upload questionable or offensive images, use trademarked names, or be used in a deceptive manner. The Custom Brand Name feature allows you to display your brand name and even product edition up to 20 characters long alongside the MSYSOFT name in the header portion of the UI. The text you enter here also appears when hovering over the MSYSOFT protection shield in the Windows taskbar and in the Virus and Threat Protection section of the Windows Security app. When using this co-branding feature, we always display MSYSOFT next to your custom brand name to avoid confusion with customers. You can also customize the footer portion of the Endpoint UI main page. By default, this area provides links to a variety of articles and information on security-related topics, and though not used for any type of advertising, you may choose to hide it. You can further limit news updates by deselecting the Recommended Readings and News option in the Notifications area. If you hide the Security News section, you can replace it with your own message by clicking on the Edit button here. You can enter your company name and contact details. Then they'll appear on the main screen of the Endpoint UI. You can make that block clickable by adding your own website address in the Custom URL box. This can reinforce the strength and value of your relationship with your customer and provide them with quick access to your contact information. If your clients are part of your monthly subscription plan, they will never see any renewal reminders. However, if they're on annual subscriptions, you can disable license expiration notifications that are typically displayed 30, 14, and seven days before the license period ends, allowing you the time to renew the license with your customer directly. However, to reduce the risk of protection ending for an endpoint, notifications will still be displayed three days before a license expires. The Emergency Kit Maker can be found under the Endpoint Scan and Clean tile, but sometimes you may prefer to disable it on endpoints. When you select this option, the Emergency Kit Maker no longer appears, and users will not be able to create portable scanning kits on their own. Reports are a great way to inform your customers about the protection that they're receiving. You can co-brand reports in the same way, by uploading your logo to a report template, and then applying that template to a workspace report. MSYSOFT's UI customization features allow you to provide world-class endpoint security to your customers, along with your own co-branding and messaging. It's just one more way that MSYSOFT strives to be the best solution for your MSP requirements. Thanks for watching our video. Come back again soon as we're releasing new ones regularly.